Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to get user input in Java. So in Java, we have something called the scanner class. And then we can make an object or an instance of that class to get user input. It sounds harder than it is. So we get a scanner, and then you can name your scanner whatever you want. I like to call it SCNR, which is just short for scanner. And then set that equal. And say new scanner system dot in. You don't have to know what any of this means. You just have to be able to type it out. After we type that out, we're going to see it's going to be underlined red because we've got to import something. And then after that's imported, we're ready to use our scanner. I'm going to eclipse, so it imports it for me. I don't know if you're like on repel or something. You can just copy that into the top of the page. Now we have our scanner set up. So now we're ready to get user input. So let's start with an integer variable. We can say int x equals, and we're going to set that equals to our scanner object. We can say sc nr dot, and then it'll show us like all the methods we could use. We can say next int, next double, next float. But in this case, it's going to be next int. So this is going to ask the user for an integer, and it's going to store it inside x. And once we have it in our variable x, we could add them together. We could print them. So let's let's print it out. Just type x in there. So it's going to ask us for the user is going to ask us for a number. Let's do 15, and it's going to print out 15. And let's do the same. When I, when I was programming, I only use like integers, doubles, and floats. So I can show you how to get a double. We're going to do double, have the name, the, have the variable named x equals scanner dot next, but it can't be an int because it's not an integer. So we can do not next double. And then it'll ask us for a double, and then we can print it to the console again. So a double could have like numbers after like the little, how, how would I say, after the decimal. So let's do 3.14, and it'll print 3.14. And the same goes for a float. But instead of next double, then you can kind of guess it's going to be dot next float. And that's how you get a float right there. And we can do 3.14, and it'll print it out again. So that's how we get an integer, a float, and a double. Then I'm going to show you how to get like a, like a string variable. So we could say string. I'll just name it my name. Equals. And then we'll set that equals to our scanner object again. SCNR dot next we could do dot next or dot next line i like i'll show you what dot next does and then we can print it let me just print out name so with dot next it's gonna stop after a space so i enter my name ruben creates that's only my youtube name i'm not gonna tell you my real name it's only gonna print ruben because after like the next after it detects a space it's gonna stop but if we do a dot next line, I'll take the whole line. We can say Ruben creates, and it'll type everything out. And then with like user input, you can do like really cool stuff, like make a little calculator. Let's actually do that. So let's do int x equals scanner, which is the name of our object we made. Dot next. And we're going to do not next int because we're, we're asking for a, like an integer value. And then we can literally copy it and paste it. Z. So now we're asking the user for an integer name x and for an integer name z. And then we can do system out, print line, and then we do x plus z. So in this case, let's see, let's do 10, 5, and it'll print out 15. So that's pretty much it. That's how you get user input in Java. And just to show you, you can name it whatever. I'm going to name it my name. But if you do change it, to, like the name here, you have to change it everywhere. So I just I just keep it at scanner. That's what I was taught. The same thing. 10, 47, 57. So if this helped you at all, leave a like and subscribe. I'm still trying to get monetized by the end of the year.